Being competitive isn't just trying hard, it's understanding strengths and weaknesses. Down defense by locking left. A lot of coaches, a lot of players are like, oh, aren't I going to just get beat? If I open up that much and force them left, aren't I going to just get beat? Let's watch some video of Kobe Bryant so you can understand how powerful locking left can be in the full court pressuring against NBA players. Let's check it out. So notice how on the catch against Dwayne Wade, he is on that right side. This is that reactionary gap. When the ball goes left, you press in. You lock them left. You don't let them get back to their right hand. If he gets back to his right hand, then you pressure that ball to get it back to the left hand again. Make them go left. They don't want to go left. And when they pick up the basketball, press your body into them, keeping up your palms, getting a travel. That is beautiful. That is what locking left looks like. Now let's learn about a few more ways we can improve our locking left. First is spacing. And just like we saw with Kobe on that clip, whenever Dwayne Wade got the ball back into his strong hand, his right hand, notice how Kobe jumped back and gave a little bit more space. And then the moment the ball went to Dwayne Wade's left hand, notice how Kobe climbed into the space and really got into his personal bubble. So your spacing is going to change depending on if the player's going downhill in attack mode or if they're more protecting the ball in their left hand. When someone does have the ball in their right hand, start with more space, but attack that ball to make them get it to their left hand. The next thing to remember is you're not trying to steal the ball. You're not even really trying to pressure them or turn them. You're just trying to influence the ball to their left hand and make them go with their left hand. Don't get beat, you don't need to get out of position, just influence them and lock them to the left. And finally, whenever you get a chance, just be in the bubble. Being in the bubble is often enough to force travels and mishandles and turnovers. You don't have to necessarily reach and put yourself in a position where you might foul. Just stay in their space. Another defensive great, Scotty Pittman, is gonna show us how he was locking left before many of you were even born. Okay, pause it real quick. This is Kobe Bryant, who we just saw talking about Scotty Pippen locking left. Where do you think Kobe learned to do what you just saw him do? He learned it from Scotty. So this is a cool full circle moment. One of the best defenders, Scotty Pippen of his era, informing Kobe Bryant, one of the best defenders of his era, on how to guard by locking left. And Kobe's talking about what he learned. Let's listen in. Really focus on the defensive end of the floor and look at Scotty Pippen. I mean, this guy was a genius. Small pressure. Look at him bodying up. Forcing to the left. And he played with a passion on the defensive end of the floor. Like, no, this is the most exciting part of the game to me. It starts with passion. Again, Scotty's initiating the action. He's making Mark work to bring the ball up the floor. And make him work left. Now, where he's pushing him, he's pushing him into situations where Mark can't really attack. Right here. And let's pause there. He's pushing him into situations where he can't really attack. That's what influencing is. You're not pressuring. You're just pushing them left and daring them to go because all of their teammates are in the paint. They're trying to run an offense. You don't have to worry about getting beat left, especially when you have help behind you. So that's why we're trying to influence them left, staying on that right hip. Let's keep going. This is a great gap to the left there by Michael Jordan. These areas, there's nowhere for him to drive. So now, great lock left stance there for these curl actions here. Yeah, he up. Keeping up palms so he doesn't foul, no reaching. Now, Mark says, Okay, I gotta attack him. He's bodying up on me. I'm gonna attack him. Mark attacks him here. There's a great reactionary gap in space. Sprinting back, feet crossing. Scotty's been bodying him this whole time, so now Mark seeks the contact. Scotty just backs up. Scotty just backs up. I mean, that, that's just brilliant defense. I mean, think about that for a second. I mean, he, he's bodying Mark the whole game, bodying, bodying, bodying. And now Mark's looking for for Scotty's body, and Scotty just just moves back. Unless That's being competitive. That's what we are talking about before. Being competitive isn't just trying hard. It's understanding strengths and weaknesses. He's trying to body me. He's trying to body me. Well, I'm going to go ahead and back up. Finding small advantages is what being a competitor actually means. You now saw two of the greats locking left, and you now have 
the knowledge you need and the challenge you need to go and become a lock left defender. Lock down by locking left.